just two things for a truly happy life? Really? Can it be that simple? Mm, yes and no. Stick with me. I have been a life coach for over 30 years and I work with hundreds of clients. My niche is helping people live their extraordinary life, to find that life that's deeply fulfilling, full of purpose, and vibrantly joyful for them. And yeah, it comes down to two things. That said, those two things have uh, a few steps to them, to be sure. And there is a third step that is also really crucial to all of this. Let's explore it in this video. Now, before we get into today's topic, I want to cover two things so there are no misunderstandings about it. The first one is your extraordinary life. When I start talking about extraordinary life, a lot of people turn off. I don't have an extraordinary life because they're associating a extraordinary life with someone who's done amazing things like Oprah or Steve Jobs or the president, right? No, everybody has an extraordinary life everybody and it's different for everyone it's whatever gives you purpose and joy that's it and all of us actually are living our extraordinary life to the best of our ability right now but then we have things that keep us from really what we want to do really what we want to be we have beliefs that hold us back we have people have told us we can't do something there are all sorts of things that keep us from taking that next step. And no matter how great your life gets, there's always a little bit better that it can, it can be. Like it's such an amazing and exciting thing. And I really want you to hear this as something that's exhilarating, not something like, oh, I'm still not there yet. I'm still not doing good enough. No, uh-uh, that is not what I'm saying. I am saying it doesn't matter where you are, there's always a little bit better. Like I want it to be inspiring for you, yes. I can take that next step. I also want to make sure that we aren't simplifying this so much to say, even if you have a mental illness, this is how you can have a truly happy life. Now, if you need extra help and support to support whatever it is you're going through, by all means get it. Although I will tell you these two things will help. I have certainly worked with lots of clients who are also seeking therapy at the same time and had amazing results. So are you ready? Let's look at our two things. Now I do also want to point out that this is a quick summary video. So this is just to plant the seeds. There will be future videos going into them a little bit more deeply, especially if you have questions. So feel free to comment below. Let me know if you have any questions and I can give more details about how to do each one in future videos. The two things are a little thing and a big thing. You ready? The little thing, number one, is you got to discover joy in the life you're already living. This is such a big one. And you might be thinking, I really do love my life and that's fantastic. And we take it further. Or if you're thinking, yeah, but Laura, I really need this to happen in order to be really happy. I need to make more money. I need to be on vacation. I need the kids to be in school. I need my husband to say this when I say that, <laughs> right? We are a grass is greener culture. We are, you know, it, I'll be happy when, and we put it off. And yes, there's always going to be something in your life that you want to change and you want to upgrade, you want to up level, whatever it is. And at the same time, we need to practice finding things in the life we're already living that we love and to look for them. And we do that through a couple of different ways. The first, and you hear about it all the time, right, is a practice of gratitude. Here's the thing. When I ask my clients, or just anyone, are you grateful for your life? Nine out of ten, ten times, the knee-jerk response is, oh yeah, I am. And yet, do you live from gratitude? And there, if you think about it, the answer is probably no. Because any time that you're feeling annoyance, irritation, fear, anxiety, any of those things, you're not feeling grateful, right? Our response to things is rarely gratitude. Think about it. And the other piece of that is it's just habit, right? If we practice gratitude with intention, it starts to become our reaction in certain situations. Maybe not always, but if you 
you know, if you're living your life right now, 5% from gratitude, and that's just when you're with your kids and you're appreciating them, or you're on a date with your spouse, or you're with your best friend, and it just feels good, then you are in a place of gratitude. Realize that gratitude and love have the same energy. So when you're in a place of feeling love and experience it, experiencing it, you are also in a state of gratitude, right? When we begin to practice gratitude, we can up that from five to 10% to 15 to 20. Yeah, you're gonna have days where it's not so good, but it's gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And that gratitude is very powerful, okay? The second thing you can do that can help you find more joy in the life you're already living is self-care. Again, one of those things we talk about all the time and honestly, nobody is doing enough or I'm gonna say doing it the right way okay, maybe some people are, but it's pretty rare. And that's because we, we usually have used self-care as reactive rather than proactive. That's aftercare. We need self-care to be proactive. We do it ahead of time. We keep ourselves filled up. We don't wait until we're empty and then do something to fill ourselves up. So self-care is our energy. It's our fuel. It's our ability to live from our heart. When we're filled up, it's easier to practice gratitude, right? When you are depleted, it's really hard to practice gratitude. And honestly, this is something I am personally still really working on. And I don't actually even know if I know what it feels like to be filled up completely yet. I have lived in a state of depletion for so long. I am so much better, but I'm still working on it. And it's one of the reasons I teach it so well, because I get why you don't get what you need to be doing, right? See what I mean? So I've actually created a course called Radical Self-Care Toolkit coming out later this fall. So stay tuned because what happens is we're not doing the right things that really fill us up. We're doing the things that we've done before that felt good and maybe they do feel good, but they're not filling us up fully. And so that's something you want to look at as well. And of course, there are other things you can do that help you enjoy the life you're in even more. One of the things I encourage my clients to do is to do something every single day that makes that day wonderful. Just a little something every day. It could be something big, it could be something little. I had one student who years ago, and this was so fantastic, I challenged her to make the day special. She was the vice president of a large company and she actually cleared her desk had her secretary come in and she did downward facing dog on her desk and had her secretary take a photo of it. <laughs> like it was fantastic. I, literally 15 years ago, if not more, I still talk about it because it was such a great idea. And yeah, you might not do something that big. Maybe you'll do something bigger, you know, or maybe it's just a little something. You, you contact a friend you know who's in need and you reach out to them and it makes it special, right? It makes it special for both of you. Maybe you buy yourself flowers. Maybe you go for a walk someplace really beautiful. Maybe you watch something on YouTube that you know is gonna be really me meaningful for you. It doesn't matter, just a little something. Like there are little things we can do that upgrade the life that we are in because happiness doesn't happen when that happens. All we do is bring our own happiness with us. We've all been there right? I'll be happy when, then that happens. And you go, oh, well, that's because I'll be happy when, right? You put it, push it off and you, you, you want something else. Something else has to happen in order for you to experience that joy. It's not how it works. We got to find our happiness now. And if you are a student of manifesting and law of attraction, you know, you have to be happy now in order to manifest the next thing. So that is really important. Important first step is to put attention on our life we're living right now and discover even more joy in where you are. And that brings us to number two. And this one is the big thing and it's gonna sound like a contradiction from what I just said, but stick with me. You need to have a big dream. You need to have something that's really big, that gets you excited, that's out there out there, that thing that you want to work on that gets you lit and excited, okay? That's why we have it. Not because you know you'll be happy when that happens. It's because it is the thing that's gonna encourage you to evolve, to grow, to move through your fears, to take chances, to test your courageous button, right? And that's the thing that gets us really excited to move forward in our lives. Otherwise, we just stay complacent and in place. So you might be thinking, yeah, but if I had that dream, 
doesn't it feel like I'm putting something out there that gets me like I'll be happy when, right? I mean, this is the question I get all the time. I am in the yoga world. Contentment is one of our basic precepts. So can you be content with a desire? Yes, you can. They aren't mutually exclusive. You can 100% love the life you're in and have something that gets you really excited. Can you, can you start to feel that? There is nothing wrong with having that excitement. In fact, it's the point. I read somewhere that desire, the word desire comes from the root de sire, which means from the father, meaning your desires come from deep inside of you. They are part of your purpose, your raison d'etre, if you will, your reason for being. And it, it's important to explore them. And so many of us were raised with, you gotta be practical, you gotta be realistic. I wasn't, I was raised by an entrepreneur, so I didn't have that, thank goodness, but I'm a rare case, right? We want to explore those dreams. And here's the thing, I'm not saying if you want a sports car, go out and buy it and you can't afford it, like get into debt and go buy it. No, I'm saying investigate why you want that sports car. Investigate why you want this side hustle job or why you want to start your own business or why you want to get fit and have more energy or why you want to find a mate. Like explore what it is about it that gets you excited and make sure that's what you really want. So your dream gets you lit and it encourages, encourages you to grow and evolve. Now, I also said there really is a third one. It's not really part of the fundamentals, although kind of, and that is you need to have a plan. Actually, you need two plans, so stick with me. First of all, that first plan is you gotta figure out what steps you're gonna take for both finding more happiness in your life and finding a dream. And the reason for that is the status quo is very luring and alluring. It draws us in and kind of keeps us here because it's easy. You know it, you understand it. You may not like it, you may not be comfortable, but it feels safe because you know, you know what to expect. I mean, think about it. We have all been in maybe a relationship too long or a job too long or in physical health that we could change too long because it was easier than changing, right? A hundred percent. Now, we'll talk more going forward on how you can make changes and how you can shift things in your life with a little bit more ease, but just know you do need a plan. You need to figure out what is it I'm going to do? Am I going to practice gratitude? Am I going to, um, find something to do every single day that's really fun for myself. Specifically, what am I going to do? And the same for your vision, right? What is my vision? What can I do to take that next step? And honestly, these each of these steps could take you five minutes in a day, super quick. Do five minutes on loving your life even more. And honestly, that's where I have everybody start because your current life has a certain energy level to it that you can sustain. And what I mean by that is you have to build your energy up to shift the life you're in. So when you start to love the life you're in, you're gonna have more energy because the parts that you are tolerating that are draining you, you're gonna to start to fix those, okay? That'll be a whole nother video, but just trust me, if you don't know where to start, that's where you're starting, okay? Now, I mentioned you actually need two plans. Your second plan, and this one might shock you a little bit coming from a life coach, you need a plan for failure. Oh yes, you heard me. Now I'm using the word failure, which fail by the way is my four letter F word. The other four letter F word is one that I actually rather enjoy sometimes, <laughs> but fail, I do not like. And because the word fail indicates a finite, like you're done and you quit, it's an ending point. Rather than saying, I learned something, now what? And when you realize that life is cyclical, it's always gonna be up and down, always. We are here in a human existence, human existence is up and down, okay? As a life coach, one of my goals is to help you realize when you're starting to go down and give you tools to move back up quickly and you know, not to go as deep or stay as long in those lulls, but they're going to go down. And when you go down, that's when you don't follow your plan number one, right? You don't, because it's like that's when you 
sleep in rather than get up to exercise. That's when you go for that treat after dinner when you haven't been eating it lately and when you don't drink enough water and whatever it is, right? That's when we, 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 we stop doing those habits that we've instilled and then we think we failed and often that leads to giving up. I get it. I've been there. I've been there so many times, right? So instead, if you go, you know what? Laura just told me that this is normal. Nothing wrong with this. I just need tools. And you actually have a plan for when that happens, like having somebody you can turn to. This is where an accountability partner comes in really, really handy. And that's just someone you can call and say, you know what? I'm not feeling great. I am not doing the things I said they did, I would do. And together you can put together a plan. A life coach is very handy for this too. I help you put together the plan. Um, maybe it's other things you can do. It's like, okay, um, I committed to doing a really big workout five days a week. That's not going to happen because I just don't feel up to it. I can't, I don't even want to make myself because that's not fun, right? I can go for a walk. That feels really good. Then you do that. Do you see what I mean? It's like you find those ways to get yourself back up so that you can get back into your groove. I'll do another video on that, especially let me know if you want to see a video around that because that is a good one and really helpful for us. Now, the beauty of these two simple steps, again, simple but not, I totally get it, but when you're working on discovering more joy in the life you're already living and finding a dream that gets you really excited, and by the way, when you reach that dream, there'll be another dream. There's always something that's going to make you want to stretch and grow because we are here to evolve and grow as people, as spiritual beings on a, in a human experience, right? Is it's also going to give you a life that's well lived. I don't know about you, but by the end of my life, I want to look back and say, that was a life well lived. Meaning I found my purpose and I found my deeply fulfilling life that was full of joy. And I want that for you too. So, Next step, check out this pay playlist. I have a hacking happiness series. I'm gonna link to it below as well. And this takes you through these two steps and gives you next steps with each one. There's even a workbook with it, totally free. Go grab it for yourself right now. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a, a thumbs up. I would love to hear if there's anything new you learned or anything that was reaffirmed for you. And subscribe if you like this kind of content. I'm also going to be sharing yoga and essential oils along with this because it's what I do. I uniquely combine life coaching tips, manifesting really, with yoga and essential oils to help you transform even faster. Because you know what? Life is meant to be extraordinary. Let's find that life for you.